This is the bronze sword, which I'm going to be using to test out on this car today. And here's the bronze dagger. It's kind of like a set. See? But this handle's taped up right here. Uh, I was afraid the scales, they're unfinished because I was thinking they're going to break whenever I test them out on this car. You can see I was going to take down the edges too to give it more of that fish shape. But I've already sharpened them and hammered them, so I figure I'll do a lot of damage to these edges and I'll have to go back and, and repair them. Uh, first thing I wanted to test out on the car, see if I can disable the car. I know in Hollywood they got these little balloons, like black balloons that they got. It looks like tires. You can pierce them with a butter knife or a wet noodle or something like that. But I'm going to see how well the sword will pierce a real tire. This is my main man Stevie, Stevie the Styrofoam Man. He's volunteered today to take a sword to the chest. That, my friends, is dedication. So, what do you have to say, Stevie? Not much for words. He's a little camera shy. First, let's disable the vehicle. And then, Steve, the man, shall die. I forgot to turn on the camera as I was piercing the tire. So I guess I'm going to have to do it again. But it was easy. No problem at all. Here, watch this. So, here we go. Make sure I got it in the picture. See that? Easy enough. So now he's got two flats. He ain't going anywhere. Not too far anyway. So let's say Steve the Styro Man's about to crank up and try to take off again. He's got flat tires. What can I do about his radiator? Make sure he doesn't go very far. Let's see if it can disable that. Y'all ready? Here we go. <sighs> It is popped. Oh yeah. Got into the radiator pretty good, I'd say. Did it go all the way through it? Yes, it did. And it even pierced uh, this little radiator here. Yeah, I got a little bit in there. But, you know, for bronze, not too bad. I'll just hammer that straight real quick. Now that Stevie's safe inside of his mild steel car, he doesn't have to fear a bronze sword. Or does he? Hmm. Action, take one. Let's see if I can just press it through here. Nope. Okay. It doesn't just press through. I got him on the shoulder just a little bit. Yeah. Steve's definitely taking a little bit of damage, but it's not much. He will survive that for sure. Uh, the tip is still straight. Ooh, did it get it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I would say Steve is dead. I would definitely say he is dead. If he's not dead, he's in bad shape. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, second stab. My tip looks great. Of course, now I've hammered it back straight twice, so it should be stronger than it ever was before. Now that Stevie is seriously injured, 
I'm gonna make sure that we can finish him off here. Thanks to my kids, this windshield's already broken. But I'm gonna see if I can get the sword to a solid piece right here to get in there to him. Oh man, you'd be in more danger if my sword was a little longer. You okay there, Tina? I'd say he's suffering a little bit. Look at that blood. Yeah, my styrofoam man bleeds. I, I put packs of blood in him. Yeehaw. And that, my friends, is why I did not go with a harder bronze. It may have done it better, but it would have probably broke. Let's see if I can get it with a bent sword. I'd have never guessed a Geo Metro would have safety lights on the side windows. Well, other than it being bent, we've got very little damage on these edges. Are we focused? Yeah. Little nicks here and there. Other than that, quite a bit of scraping. Of course, I would expect that from glass. So it will bend back straight. Very little damage on the edges. And I've killed old Steve here several times. As if he hadn't suffered enough, let's see what damage my little dagger will do to him. Now that we're in here where we can reach him. I die like a man. Let's see how much damage I can do to this edge right here if I try to cut into the car. Not much. Not too shabby, when you say. Let's try it again. Hit a little harder that time. See that? We still have a lot of sharpness right there. I'm gonna try to hit that edge right there that's still nice and sharp where it's not dinged up. Well, it doesn't look as sharp anymore, but it would still cut. No, no shaving going on. Let's take out one more window. That's fine.
as you can see, I bent it just a little bit again. Edge held up pretty well though. All right, let's inspect this blade just a little bit. We got some nicks, a lot of bending, but nothing major. The tip got bent several times. Not nearly as much repair as I thought I was going to have to do this blade, though. There we go. Oh, you'll be all right, buddy. Just trying to relax. You all right? You feeling okay? How's that feel? Any better? And the <clears throat> sheath and the scabbard here. You can see it fits quite nicely in it. Doesn't come out even though it's made out of wood, paduke. This is not part of the set, but I had to take pictures of it today. I was going to list it as well for sale. So it's made out of paduke as well. And here's the sword after I took down the edges like I said I was going to do and polished it up. You can see that there's no more scratches in it. how it looks in the sheath. 